Hello my friends, welcome! This video is a progress check. We measure years books, baby. So <laughs> yeah, basically it's just me coming in, updating you guys everything I read so far last month and letting you know if I liked it or not and maybe it'll be a way for you to figure out if you want to pick up this book or not this is supposed to be a really quick video so let's get into it the first book i read last month is it ends with us by colleen hoover my bestie put me on colleen hoover and you know what i actually sort of liked it this book is about lily bloom who is trying to make sure that she doesn't repeat her mother's life which was deeply affected by her abusive relationship with her husband and even though she's trying to stay away from it as much as she does she ends up living that unfortunate reality and it's about how she navigates it and all of them i think that's all i can tell you without spoiling it now the thing about this book is i just did not agree with all the decisions made by our main character but I understand from the last few pages where the author was trying to explain her personal connection to this storyline and how she was trying to keep it realistic I feel like this book had a really great vision it just was not executed in the best possible way so i gave it 3.75 stars and right after that i read daughter of the deep by rick riordan i tried my best to finish this book i tried i really tried i'm just not your fantasy girly yet at least not that type of fantasy I feel like that was a kid's book and I'm pretty sure it is because my brother picked it up and I was too desperate for a reading buddy so I picked it up with him, ended up hating it, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and then I read Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeyman. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I thoroughly enjoyed reading about Eleanor. I think she is so um, complex and at first you might seem a person who you don't see yourself liking as much. And then you just fall in love with her. She's she's so real like she has so many layers i'm not gonna say much about this book you just have to read it you just have to experience it for yourself and i totally envy you if you're getting to read this book for the first time and the next book i read right after that was verity by colleen hoover this one was also recommended by one of my besties and i liked this more than it ends with us to be honest with you i just loved the fast pace writing style i loved the investigative nature of the book it was following the story of this woman who is a writer she's not that successful or famous but she's called to finish the rest of the series of this really famous writer because the writer is unable to finish her series because of some accident that happened to her and when our main character goes in to do research and understand the series and plan for how she can finish it she realizes that there is more to this accident that happened to the original author of the series and that leads into some information hunting and there's a little bit of romance in there i finished this book in one sitting it is tough i'm gonna give it 3.8 stars after that i read bride by ellie hazelwood ah i just love ellie hazelwood's writing i i don't know it's hard to explain because i never thought 
I would be into this book, which is about a marriage between vampires and werewolves in order to make sure that there's peace in their communities. It's, it's fantasy, right? I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to give it five stars because that book surprised me. And after that, I read The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. This is about a bodyguard who is dealing with her mother's demise. And right after that, her boyfriend dumps her. So she's trying to escape in her work. She gets this opportunity to be the bodyguard of this really famous actor. And she has to do it in an undercover type of way. So. She she has to pretend to be his girlfriend and the story is about what happens then. It was pretty interesting. I gave it four stars. Next up, I read a nonfiction book. Please don't judge me. I am a neuroscience student and this is definitely related to the brain and the yeah, I'm not gonna... <laughs> ah, why am I trying to justify myself? I read Adult Children of Emotionally Immature Parent by Lindsay C. Gibson. This was a really insightful read, I'll be honest. I rated it four stars. It definitely helped me understand some of my difficult emotions and thoughts when it comes to trying to understand my parents a little bit more <sighs> it definitely validated some of my emotions and i don't know helped me not feel like i am crazy or wrong or evil or any of that for feeling the way I feel. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Next up, I read It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover because obviously I wanted to know what was about to happen next in Lily Bloom's life. And frankly, I like this one a little bit more just because of the way it was narrated. This book was narrated from the perspective of Atlas who is our main character's romantic interest. It was nice to get some closure since the first book. I mean, not that the first book didn't have enough closure, but like, you know, if you wanted to know more. Like. Anyway, next up I read, I actually have the book. I didn't read this on my Kindle, let me grab it. I read One Day by David Nichols. If you haven't watched the Netflix series or the movie, one day you should watch it i was reading this along with the series on netflix i would read each chapter and then watch the episode which was a really nice experience for me this book destroyed me so did the series i was crying i was heartbroken after i finished it i still am a little bit like they had all that time it's about two people they come together on this one specific day and we're just looking at that day every single year for 20 years and how they are and where they are and what they're doing and how they're living and all of that and just it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking i warned you but go into it for sure and finally i've got the soulmate equation by christina lauren Another one of my favorite authors, the first book I read by this author was The Unhoneymooners, then I read The Honeymoon Crashers, and then I read The Amazing Love in Other Words, and now I've read The Soulmate Equation, which is an amazing read, especially if you're into a little bit of, you know, numbers and statistics and chemistry and all of that it's very sciencey it's about this romance that happens between two people because their dna deems them to be really compatible and our main character is a single mother and she has a difficult relationship with her mother and 
it's about her friendship it's about her parenting her relationship with her daughter and of course love and i rated that one 4.75 stars those are the 10 books i read in june i'm really excited for july and everything i'll get to read this month what are some of your tbrs for this month let me know if you have any book recommendations for me in the comments and if, if you want me to make any specific videos for you uh, please also let me know in the comments or if you're feeling a little shy which is okay you can reach out on instagram because we are besties now so with all that said a new video is coming really soon so make sure you subscribe and always i hope you have a really amazing one i love you bye